Sánchez Rico. I'm from Colombia. I'm from Colombia, but I live here in Argentina 11 years ago. I work in the Ministry of Science, Technology, and Innovation. I work in two programs. For science. Sorry. And I work in two programs, in the Foresight program, national program, and in the surveillance technology. So I'm so glad to be here and to share our experience. In these first 45 minutes, I'm going to talk about the principal concept basics of the Delphi techniques. And after the workshop, uh, we are going to share the experience, three works that we lead. I think you have the, the presentation, so you can, you can follow that. Uh, let me see. This is the presentation. And um, okay. Now, uh, please let me see with the time. It's 10, 10, 7, so 10, 50. Okay. Uh, in this session, too, we are going to talk about basic ideas of the Delphi technique, the design decision in the Delphi process. And after that, uh, we are going to develop a one mini, del mini Delphis, a case study with the Professor Moore. Uh, and after that, experience from Delphi is studied by our ministry. And then, in the last one minute, uh, I would like to discussion and to do the conclusion of this session today. Uh, we start 10, 10 in the morning until 10.45. After that, we are going to have 15 coffee break minutes. And then the session, the workshop, or experience, and closing until 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, this is a, a first um, technique and methodological tools according to the source of the knowledge. I think you know this famous <laughs> future diamond where we can see different techniques and methodological according to what is the source of the, con of the knowledge. And first we can, we can choose or we can uh, see, choose, elect uh, knowledge uh, methods where the expert knowledge is the most important. Or we can show the creative, the imagination, the, or we can imagine how, how the future could be, is exploration, exploration methods, or interactions, or uh, we can choose uh, the evidence or documents uh, that said this is like a technical information. Delphi, uh, is you can see here is a combination between the knowledge method and exploring with the creative because we choose or we ask to the people what uh, you could imagine or probably happen. The origin of this technique the Delphi, the Delphi method uh, is inspired by tradition of the famous how we see yesterday the Oracle of Delphos was a technique originated in the, in the 50 years. And then in these years, the rank comparison to the election. I want to see, no, wait a moment. Sorry. I let me see. No. It's busy. Let me see. It's busy. Sí. Well, uh, please, excuse me. I am working. We are working. Ah, I saw. We are, we are doing a class, please. Yes, 2 p.m. Okay, okay, thank you. I sorry for this time, the interruption. The original research was classified military for involving a group of multidisciplinary experts whose goal was to try and forecast the effects of the future of the warfare in the United States. Olaf Helmer and Norman Krudelke is, was the, the, uh, the inventor, I, we can say, who was a team in the world with the RAN Corporation, and they used this, history, uh, this technique to make prediction what, um, what can happen with the nuclear gas in the United States. Sorry for the interruption, I, I saw. Okay, basic concepts. The Delphi method consists in the selection of group of experts. It's the most important. To have the group of experts, we are gonna ask about, about what, what they think about what happened. 
It's a semi-structured questionnaire. We are going to ask the opinion and question and really relating to the future events. The method consists in the systematic use of the intuitive judgment of a group of experts to obtain a consensus of informed opinions for the realization for the forecast and prediction. Another basic concept is Liston and Turtle define the Delphi technique like a method of a structure, a structuring a process of group communication that is effective in available a group of individuals as a whole to deal with a complex problem. According to the Theodore Gordon, the Delphi method seek the convergence of the opinion and the consensus of the specific topic. Okay, in basic words, we are going to ask to the group expert what is the opinion. And we research, uh, we research or we, we want to see consents and dissents opinion. People, 20, 30, 40, 100 people, 1,000 people. Uh, after that, we are going to see one some exercise there. We, we asked to one tens of people, but in Delphi online. The Delphi technique is a research design, usually considered a quality method, which was designed to forecast model to solving to solution to problems where the data was missing or incomplete. We ask the thing that we don't know. I mean, if we have bibliography, literature, or a basic uh, information, we ask to the people the thing that we have doubt. It's so important to do that because sometimes the people use the Delphi technique to ask things that the people do know or they're at evidence. And it's a good opportunity, this technique, to ask that we don't know. And there are a lot of, uh, a lot of doubt or a lot of uncertainties or a lot of questions. We know that there are different opinions about one topic. So in this case, we use the Delphi technique. If there is any question, sorry if I confuse the words, but <laughs> there are any, any question about that or is clear the, con the, 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 the concepts? I would like to tell you. It's clear? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, I can. Okay. So, uh, what is the Delphi method? First, we can choose one facilitator. The facilitator is, a, is the team that designed the exercise. Is the team or is the people, is the, is the group, the people that decided why we are gonna use the Delphi technique. And these people is the, is because depend of the instrument you use, it can be expensive. It can be no using, no, it's not so easy to, to develop. Um, it's the people that say, okay, the Delphi technique we are going to use for that. For that is important. After that, we identify the experts. Can be five, no, five, no, 20, 20, 25, 30 experts, according to the sector, according to the area. It's not uh, the same amount, uh, for example, in nanotechnology, because there are an, uh, a lot of experts of nanotechnology, or in comparison with the people know agro or energy. So it's important to identify the experts because we have to have diversity, the origin, diversity things, of things or the diversity um, knowledge too, not just academic knowledge, experience or professional knowledge too. And after that, we define the problem. We read, write the statement. And after that, set the questions. Find and to act the finding. Finding is the results. The results can be 
consents or dissents. This is the principal step of the test. In other words, first, with the team of the, uh, the team that coordinate the exercise, we formulation the problem. So it's to building to consist to the elaboration of the questionnaire with the basic hypothesis. The statement we can be questions or hypotheses, doubts, answers. And we have to be smart to know what, uh, what is gonna ask. Because the attention of the expert is, is a resource, is a limited resource. I mean, you are not going to ask 100 questions <laughs> or 50 questions. Uh, and now, and now there are less time to answer. So you have the opportunity like uh, to ask 20, maybe 25 questions, no more than 30 minutes or no more than one hour, because the, the attention of the expert is so valued. So if you are gonna, uh, if you are gonna do one questionnaire of 50 questions, uh, it's so long, uh, you don't have the opportunity to have after that the, uh, feedback. So the formulation of the problem uh, is the most important uh, phase of the exercise. We are gonna, what we are gonna to ask and why. After that, after one we want to know, uh, we choose the experts, I talk about that. And then uh, we, proceed, uh, we send the questionnaire, maybe one questionnaire can be in one week, two weeks, three weeks, depends on the platform or, or the exercise you need. But the important here is to have one start date and one finish date. Because if you consider, you can, the, the basic deficit said that you have to do a game, one round in game. In the practical, uh, now the, the organize, the, this time no exercise doing one, just one round. Now we're talking about that. And after that, writing and edit, editing the final report, the final inform. So again, the same that I, I, I write. First, one facilitator, the team, the team thinking, the team foresight, the team future organization said, uh, we're gonna ask, and after that, going to the experts, you know how many are gonna ask. Expert respond, the request, receive feedback. There are, uh, now we are gonna see the, the different types of their feedback. There are two types, I mean. One is the expert, answer, and that's it. Another is the expert answer, and see what the another people answer to, and uh, can, and can see uh, according to the answer, can change your answers. I don't know if you are participating in Delphi's, in this kind. It depends on the platform you have, because there are platforms that doesn't doesn't permit this feedback. So you answer after that the, the organization team review the answers and again and do another round. Or the Delphi online permit that the, when the expert answer, see the, the answer of the other people and to change or to confirm his answer. So for that is this cycle. Before, the people said three rounds, four rounds, but the time and the limit and the cost, the money, is ex uh, this kind, this technique is so expensive. For that now, the Delphi starts just one round. After this cycle of answer and the question and answer, this is the final report. The same way. First, the generation the idea, the focus, when we identify and prioritize the reasons, the barriers, the limits, the question we are going to do. 
after that, I, I do the, the statements. Uh, I do the feedback and the discussion and review, compare the response, the answer. And then the last part, the final report. This, uh, this method explains why it's important the different rounds. This is theoretical based. Because in the practical, oh, I mean, here in the organization, in the ministry, we're trying to do that, and we just to do two rounds for that mean the cost, the time, not every, every expert answer, answer the same amount. For example, if you start with 50 people, uh, after in the answer to 30 people, and the answer three, just 10 people. So it's sad. So for that reason, uh, it's preferred to do just one round of maximum two. I don't know if the Professor Moller has one, one commentary about that. Professor, do you have yep. one commentary yeah. about that? What is your recommendation about the rounds in the Delphi Technique? Um, the, as you said, uh, I can only agree. Uh, you have to look uh, how many rounds you can get the experts. And sometimes uh, it's good to have uh, one round, sometimes it's good to have two or three rounds. And in my uh, experience, it's normally good to have sometimes separation between different groups of experts. Mm -hmm. So if you are doing that in a company, many companies want to know what their own people say, and they want to know what the people from science, from universities say. So they can compare these answers. Mm -hmm. And then you don't want to have too many rounds because if they then have an agreement, you don't see the differences. So it, it really depends, but I agree with you that um, one round is very small, but if you can get two rounds, that's, I think, great. Exactly. And the statistical said that when more or less 25 to 30 percent answers this kind of exercise. For example, if you, if you send uh, to 100 people, maybe 30, 40 answers. So if you do the round two, 20. <laughs> so for the, 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 the amount of the, the experts you have in your mind, you, don't, you are not gonna have all the opinions. So maybe it's a big technique and the results are poor for you imagine. So for that, we have to be so smart to design this kind of exercise. Okay. And how we can design the exercise? First, preparative work. You, you can have the, into the organization that, that think or imagine the exercise experts do. In the practice, we do that. I mean, the, the people that think the exercise are experts too. And we try to ask the experts have that. No knowledge, no, no, no just like consensus. Uh, Okay, the Delphi Technique said, we are gonna looking for consents. For us, the more important is are looking for dissents. Because the dissents uh, is information that give us uh, variables or, or to after that to build the scenarios. Because the scenarios are with the dissents info, the dissents variables, different results. Uh, it depends too. Depend on the people why I need this consult or this exercise. After uh, I do the preparing work and I'm gonna say, okay, this is me, my 20 question I'm gonna do, I read, I write the statements. It's, a, it's an art <laughs> to write the statements because you have to be clear in the question, you have to be to be a point, going to the point, the, 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 the question are gonna, are gonna I, I want to know. Mm, but 
statement, but redact in. But statement, if you know, if you don't know how to write the statement in good way, it create confusions. So it's worse. And after that, the development of the questions, uh, the time you decide uh, can be maybe three weeks. Uh, three weeks is a good time because in the first week, not everybody answered. Two weeks is good. Three weeks, you can say, okay, more people can participate. In it. And then uh, the implementation of the, of the, of the survey. According to Miles and Saritan and Sokolov in 2016, they said that there are one, two, three, four, five, five reasons, or no reason, direction of um, how to write the statements. Standard delphi one, what and when is predicted? So we ask to the expert, when they think can be happen something predictions no how when you estimate uh, or what date you create you create you think can happen something in the standard delphi 2 for example the penetration the penetration on one key technology for example uh, according to the exercise yesterday the trail system for here in argentina okay the energy management, the management of the energy for the system frame is so important to the expert. When do you, when do you think this kind of energy is gonna, the, gesto, the management of the energy is gonna be here in Argentina? So the people said in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years, or it's not possible, or there is not change. The third and third focus of the Delphi impact is impact. How will be the impact of the, uh, this kind of technology? Or Delphi of politics, or Delphi with multiple scenarios. The scenarios is thinking that the Delphi is one, is the information you can use to, after that, to build the scenarios, the scenarios the exercise. The principal characteristic of the, this method is anonymity. So we know who are the experts, but when the, they ask, we are not going to public what is the opinion of everyone. But at, the, at first of the exercise, I can ask the age, the origin, the country, the profession, and the level of the knowledge have of this topic. It's important to ask the level of the knowledge because it's not the same the knowledge on something junior or something professional or something investigation tough investigation, <laughs> so research. And some some people decided to do more ways to the opinion of the people know declare it or announce there is an expert. So different different kind of expert. It's not the same the knowledge of the junior and the knowledge on the senior or with a PhD. The another characteristic of the method is this interaction. We talk about the rounds. Heterogeneity, but for that you when you decided who are the team of the expert, uh, we can to work that the origin, uh, there are different origin, universities, uh, business, political decided, research or different, different organization or different focus of their file of investigation. Control feedback, because one, one important thing in this technique is that the expert is gonna answer, is gonna receive their answers and the collective answers. Uh, it can be online, and I mean, in the same time I answer, or it can be after 
the exercise. Um, it's like a compromise of the organization to say, okay, your opinion was that, and the rest of the people opinion that, or um, information they give us what that. And statistical results, 50%, 20% opinion, 30%, 40%, they said this answer, they said another answer. This is the characteristic, the principal characteristic of this method. Participants are experts in their fight. So, it's not for everybody. Okay, I mean, I, I said that first we can ask to 1,000 people. But we, we tried that the people are expert because the knowledge is the most important key, not just the opinion, not opinion without knowledge. The techniques use a series of rounds of interaction where information is given back to the participant for review. Participants were anonymous. They don't know who other, the other participant may be. Okay, sometimes in the, in the, in the survey, we ask to the experts, who else can answer this, this survey? Uh, so it's like a bola de nieve in Spanish. <laughs> uh, we, we, we start with 10, after 15, and after, after that 20, 25, it's another, it's another possibility. Yes? Tell me. I, I have a question. Um, yes. Good morning again. Um, good morning. I was, I was wondering with the GDPR, uh, how is how this is has been done? If it has any impact on like searching for these um, experts, or you already have like a, a group of experts that you can count on? Uh, how you have been dealing, or how we should deal? Uh, with the GDPR in terms of access of these experts and asking them to participate in something like that? Yes, for that, for that, I, I, I focus in the importance to the expert because the people give us the information. Um, for example, here in the ministry, uh, the people that think the exercise are experts. So they have the, the networks and the knowledge networks in our case because we have like a, our staff are researchers and there are scientific too, and they belong to this scientific point of research networks. But in another case, for that, the, the, the selection of the expert at, at a principal phase of this, and you have to work for this. It's not the neighborhood. <laughs> in, I don't know if it answered you, uh, oh, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. The Delphi technique is a consens consensus research method. In most case, the goal is to approach a consensus among the expert panel to a future best solution. There are, however, exceptions, uh, the notable policy Delphi. The policy Delphi. Um, I, for example, for us, the important is the dissensus, the dissensus, the difference of opinion. Uh, about your question, um, if we ask to our friends, maybe they, they, they think the same like us. Oh, for that, if you have another community of experts that think different, it's so important to ask to. Um, it's not just our friends or, or 10 friends, 15 friends. Uh, we have to look for different opinions, opposite opinions too. Okay, okay, that, that, that. Delphi works with problems that are poorly understand or missing data. If we have information, if we have a, a, a literature or there is a consensus about one topic, 
okay, we don't use this space because we have the information I like, uh, we have a certain. We have to work in uncertain, in our doubts, in, we, we don't, in, in the space that we don't have any information, a poor information, and we have to cut, to catch up the knowledge experts. Excuse me, can I ask yes. a question? Yes, can, yes. You, can, you, can you provide an example when you can avoid the rule of uh, towards anonymous? Toward when anonymous. You can that suggestion. Okay, one, one characteristic of the method that is anonymous for, mm -hmm. because we don't, we don't, in the survey, we ask, who are you, your age, your origin, your profession, for statistical results, to know how many participants, what is the origin of that. But in the consensus and in the census, in the result for analysis, for to do the quality analysis, we don't know what uh, the opinion is one. Yeah, right. Yeah. So for that said, the anonymous is one characteristic of this method because we, we have just the answers. We don't know, yeah, no. we, don't, we don't match the error or the answer with our analysis. This is the yeah, question. No, I mean, I understand that, but my question is, can you mention one of the rare exceptions? Because you, you wrote that there are some exceptions. If you go to the previous slide. Mm -hmm. Here. So yeah, there are rare exceptions in the point number three. No, so I'm wondering my... which kind of exception. Ah, okay, 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 I got it. No, I don't have example about that. Uh, the example, the work that we have is uh, anonymous. Let me focus on participate anonymous from another. There are right exceptions. Mm. No, we have to, no, no. Because all the exercise I, I, I see is anonymous in the results. Uh, no, we have to looking for one exercise that they said or they point more. All right. No, I don't have answer for that. I have, I have examples, exercise that there is no anonymous. No. Okay. Okay. The Delphi. Okay. The Delphi method is is for the, the rounds and every specific characteristics. Uh, not everybody use. They use the con the basic concept of the Delphi and to do surveys, and uh, every organization adapt this. Um, so it's a survey. <laughs> so we have a question and we do that and we said, okay, just one round. Okay, we are gonna see what each one answer that. So adapt the, the conception of the Delphi method for each characteristic of every, uh, every work that people do. Okay. Advantage and weakness. Advantage. Each expert can submit to discussion the idea he's asked about the problem and the resolution from the area editing knowledge he has. One special characteristic of the survey is when you ask something, uh, you do the information like at five or six lines, explain like um, more information that in my, uh, give more information to the expert to try to decide. When the people answer, there are one space if the expert want to say something more, like uh, commentaries to the question or to the answer. So it's information, it's bad information for us. Uh, it's like a one survey, no, no, no so close. There are, there are open to receive, uh, informa more information, add information. The information coming from all the experts, even the most recognized and versed in the subject, in subject to contracts. This is the advantage. And another advantage, the number of factors that are taken into account by a group is always greater than uh, what could be considered by a single person. It's like, a, obviously, <laughs> that more people, more answer, more complex, yeah, more value. 
contrast increase the possibility that the result is pluriparadigmatic. But it depends what is the group of the expert we are going to consult. If just consult friends for us, okay, there is no contrast information. If we prepare or think different communities or different positions, there are more contrasts. So we have more, more uh, there are more, more possibilities to have pluriparadigmatic uh, ideas. The weakness. Sometimes in this group, the argument that success is the most city. How? The people do the answer. And there are possibilities that the expert see what the answer of the another people, they change the opinion. So there are, can be uh, like a one side. Okay, 40 peop uh, 20 people say that, 80 people say that. Maybe people of these 20, how they see what the 80 people answer, they change the opinion. So there are now 10 and 90, like a, like a sex. Uh, depending on the background of the cultural participant, there be there may be um, I, I I forget what is this common to main event all participants. Um, as sesgo in Spanish sesgo depending of the background of the culture of the participant, there may be uh, bias common to many or even all participants. Uh, also, it's assumed that the lack of information is solved of some participants is solved with the provided by others. We're not that sure. The missing information presented by the group can be at least as great as, great as presented by each isolated individual. Okay. Limitations. Inclusion of participants who from dogmatic positions that are recognized make it difficult to obtain consensus. Okay, this is the idea that the Delphi research consensus. I mean, I prefer to be the dissensus, the difference. Uh, the most common problems report is how is the formulation of the question. For that, we suggest, I suggest that the statement uh, said writing but expert too. People that know the, the, the topic. An excessive prolongation in the duration time can cause aggregate desertion. For that three weeks is a good time because one month, two months, three months is a long time and the exercise can lose quality. Uh, the Delphi was a technique created in the 50s years, but now uh, there are possibility to do uh, the Delphi study in the real time Delphi. The Millennium Project is one organization that works with the real time project, uh, real time uh, Delphi. Is you open the survey, you answer. You understand the question and you answer. After that you answer, the platform, the system, show you what the other people had, uh, the other people answered to this question. And you see. And in this time, you can change the answer to in the same time. This is the real time that it's a platform, it's so expensive. <laughs> It's so expensive. <laughs> and we have advantage, I have limitations too. But it's good. It's good. Good to know that except <laughs> it exists. Conven conventional Delphi studies have always had plenty of time to complete in order to opponents. I have been expensive. A single round can easily require three weeks, we said. A three round Delphi, at least a three to four months effort, including preparation and time analysis. Real time Delphi is a faster, less expensive system based on Delphi principles of voting from previous response from the participating group and warranties of anonymity to response. I think these this lines 
resume what I'm trying to say in my English. <laughs> The, time, the Delphi method seeks the convergence of opinion and consensus of specific topics, consulting experts through successive forms. It is based on a questionnaire through which the expert provide their insights into a number of possible future development. This is the statement or the hypothesis too. Real-time Delphi, unlike, unlike traditional Delphi, is more efficient method for relieving and system science expert opinion. It means developing few rounds, think expert participate online. As the expert completes the questionnaire, he or she has the possibility to review and check his or her answer. Quantitative answers or quality answers on the basis of those of the other expert. And to the end, uh, this is one example, the Millennium Project. They have the real-time DALPI. They provide the service to do this, this kind of exercise because they have the platform. And for example, just uh, one year ago in the COVID year, they do one DELPHI about the impact of the DELPHI in the economy in the world. The curious topic is that they asked to 20, 2021, 2022, 2023. I mean, if with the COVID, with this pandemic area we living, is so the big incertitude, there are a lot of uncertain what is going to happen, that the 2021 year, 2022 is future. So they use this Delphi technique to ask about how uh, what the people uh, think will be the impact, economical, social, and um, political impact in the world. For that reason, or for the, all the characteristics may be so, uh, so difficult to develop, there is Mini Delphi. Mini Delphi is like a, the Delphi in a small version. Less participant, less time, less answer, less... Mm, and you can do that in one week or two weeks. And this is the final report, I mean, about the, the Millennium Project. This is one example how you can write one final report, Delphi. This report contains three scenarios, so they use the Delphi to, after that, to build the scenarios. One introduction, one execute summary, conclusions, detail the list of the implication, how they prepare that, um, like, uh, the list of the probability events that could change the scenarios, and the appendix with the methodology. In this report, participated 250 participants, experts, the three scenarios incorporating input for more 250 physical, public health professionals, emerging relief, economists, and futurists. This work was, was encommended, I don't know how to say it, was coordinated for the Red Cross and the Millennium Project did this, this work. And look at the, the, the time. This was in October 22, and they asked the future in January 2022. So two years, uh, the future in two years. So if you want to see one example of the final report, you can access to this report. And there is one bibliography here uh, you can access. I don't know if everything is available. And it's one example that the Delphi technique was used in a lot of situations, not just technology items, uh, social items too. Um, it's a good technique to consider. It's expensive. <laughs> we said that, I said that because here in the ministry, we start to doing Delphi techniques and after, after experience, we, reach, <laughs> we prefer to do another kind of methodology to <laughs> Maybe it was one mistake. 
but uh, there will be a good conditions to do a good exercise to have a good results, good conclusions. Thanks a lot. Uh, sorry for my English. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> no problem with your English. You're really good in English. And uh, uh, thanks for that uh, concise uh, overview of how the Delphi method works and what are the advantages and disadvantages. Perhaps we can have one or two questions before we go into the break. Are there any more mm -hmm. questions? Because I see something in the chat, for instance. Sorry, teacher, professor, did you ask me something? Yeah, there was a question. Can I set a focus group of experts in the chat? Yes, we, okay, we are start to doing Delphi exercise, but um, after this exercise, we decided to do better focus group expert of meeting of five people, 10 people to ask something because it's, there, it's less expensive <laughs> to do a meeting, <laughs> to ask and, and it's presencially to ask. And after that, they help us to write another, another methodology to consult. Okay, thank you. Then we have, uh, is there any topic that cannot be studied by this method. Mm. I know, yeah. Sorry again. <laughs> so perhaps if you are too personal, if you are too intimate, uh, mm -hmm. then I, I think there is a border of this method. And also, I guess, if uh, you cannot foresee specific events, Exactly. It's hard to use Delphi. Yeah. And I see yes. two more hands. Uh, one is from Santiago Canadiao. Uh, hello. Yes, I have a very operative question. And it's um, when doing this kind of techniques online, which kind of softwares do you recommend? And also when doing it uh, in person. Mm -hmm. What kind of tools? Depending on the access you have to the experts. I mean, we are ministry, so we have the, the contacts in uh, contact with the expert that kind of close to us. So for that, for us, it's easy to do one workshop and one to have about one doubt to, to question that. I think the LP is is good when you don't have the access, the access. For example, in the, in the, in the study that in, in a minute I'm gonna present, there are 1,000 experts around the world. Uh, in this case, it's good to know, it's good to do it. When you know that the community of the expert you, 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 have, you want to contact, there is no close to you in another country, in another area, in another part of the country you don't, you don't have clothes uh, and you want to contact a lot of people, 20, 50 people, because it's so, it's so important the difference or, uh, or, or you want to have the visions of different areas of your country. I think in this, in this, in this case are important to do the Delphi technique, well, one survey has characters like that. Uh, depend on the record you have, depend on the, the people decided it is important to, uh, to, in, um, to write the range of the consult, or one meeting is enough. It depends, All, always is depend. <laughs> For example, in Colombia, I'm from Colombia, for example, in Colombia, The people in, 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 in Bogota is, yeah, say, Bogota, 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 the capital center. And you don't have easy access to the people from the north of the country, or the south of the country, or the reality, the people live in the mountains. In this case, it's important to do a Delphi one, or one, this mechanisms or methodology similar to this kind of survey. No, just meetings, close meetings in the capital because you lose 
the visions of the other people for important topics or important politics. Okay, thank you. I see two more hands open, but I have to have a look at the uh, uh, time. So perhaps two quick questions. Flavia Franco, mm -hmm. please. Um, my question is for you, Martin, actually, you mentioned yesterday that uh, the Delphi and the scenario methodology will be great to do together. Um, could you uh, like explain more about it? If you want, like, a, you can answer me later if there is already in your, in your, um, yeah, in your line, but then. Okay, uh, to give a quick answer, when you do a normal Delphi exercise, you have hypothesis and you try to get uh, the realization in time. So for instance, you ask when will there be cold nuclear energy? And you, the experts say in, in 2040, 2050, and you get a peak. And so you can use different hypotheses and you get different peaks in time. Now, if you're doing a scenario, you can use a cut in time and you can say okay what do the experts say will be happening until 2014 and so you can use the results from a delphi exercise very good in a scenario writing mm -hmm. and we will see that in the exercise how these hypotheses will be developed and uh, how they can be used thank you for your question so you. now uh, look I see. I I see more questions here. I think one of them uh, I have answered when I explained examples. For example, he said, uh, "Can I set focus group of an expert?" Yes. Uh, is there any topic that that cannot be studied with this method? Every every topic can be studied because always there are knowledge expert about anything. Uh, but there are few experts, there are few that and you can contact in any, in, in another way, is preferred. <laughs> I prefer to call, to meal in, to one survey, easy, no, at LV. So in, in, in a specific areas where technical areas, is not, I not recommend to do this kind of technique. Could you describe better uh, policy Delphi? Adriana, and, perhaps uh, we can come back to these questions at the end. Mm -hmm, okay. When we okay, make a okay. final discussion and uh, have a break now, because okay. for me, the breaks are the most important parts of workshops. Um, because normally you can chat a little bit with the others, uh, but at least we can get a cup of coffee or so. And my suggestion is that we make uh, uh, 15, yes, uh, I see Jacqueline <laughs> showing her cup <laughs> and others as well. Uh, we make uh, a quarter of an hour, 15 minutes to have really a break. So until 11.15, we have a break and then we start with the exercise. And then later on, you come back with examples of Delphi's from your ministry. And we make a final discussion with all those other topics as well. Yeah. yeah. Delphi exercise comprises eight steps. First, we search for a topic by the project team. Then we create a hypothesis and uh, test them. And um, then we evaluate those things. And then we make a second round and compile uh, the results and ask again, as uh, Adriana said, uh, that can have several iterations, not necessarily only one iteration, it can have two or three. And uh, then we evaluate the returned sheets and create future scenarios. This is the normal way which we are going when we do a Delphi exercise. But uh, today we are going to have a mini Delphi. So we are doing not the complete Delphi exercise with you, but we are doing the first steps. And the, in my opinion, most of important step is to create hypotheses for a topic uh, which you have selected as interesting. And first of all, the, uh, the question is, how can such hypotheses look like? 
And I show you here some uh, uh, requirements for the quality of these uh, thesis or hypothesis. So if we have a Delphi questionnaire, and then in those questionnaires, we are looking for theses that are realistic in the specific sense. They may be futuristic, they may be um, brave in, in looking into the future, but if you uh, ask when will green people from Mars come to Earth, it's normally that experts are not willing to answer these questions. So realistic is one aspect, then they should cover the topic area. So we should have different as aspects of our topic. For instance, asking from a technology perspective or from an ecological perspective, then they should be representative and up to date of current interest. So they shouldn't be boring. Yeah, it's always a problem. And, and I think uh, Adriana can agree when you have boring questions, then you don't get many answers. And uh, they should be understandable in a normal language, not too restrictive and not suggestive. These are some quality requirements for hypothesis. And now I'd like to let you do your own Delphi exercise. And this uh, will have a sequence of six steps, and I will explain those six steps in advance. And then I will send you to breakout rooms. And as yesterday, Lena Kronemeyer and I will visit you and uh, help you if you need any help. So uh, what are we going to plan in our Delphi exercise? First of all, the process of group formation. That is what I already did in the break. So I selected the breakout rooms and I selected uh, the randomly assignment. So please be aware that you may be uh, in a different group than yesterday. And you please use this as an opportunity for networking and connecting with other people. In these groups, you can select a topic and we have some of these topics um, as suggestions for you. Uh, you can select one of these suggested topics, but if you want to do another topic, you are free to do so. Uh, and then you should formulate those theses. And in the group, you should discuss these theses and find an agreement of if these theses are good, if they are quality theses, and then we have prepared some um, templates for you and they are in the own cloud uh, server of Enrich. So please download these templates and use them because our experience is that these templates are quite helpful to understand what you should do and to uh, understand what you should uh, write. And in these templates, we have one template uh, which is for the Delphi thesis in another template, which is later on for the evaluation of those Delphi thesis. So what I have shown you now is the first part. It's the development of the Delphi thesis. And in the second part of our exercise today, we will exchange the Delphi thesis of the different groups. And you should evaluate in a positive way, the thesis of the other groups. And we will organize that as well. So this is uh, what we are going to plan to do with you. And now I'm starting not before I have shown you two other slides. So we will start the breakout sessions in a moment. And you can choose between these suggested uh, uh, topics. So, for instance, if you are interested in communication, future communication, you can choose this topic. You, if you are interested in travel, you can choose this topic. If you're interested in dating, you can choose this topic and make a Delphi study about that, or education, or everything you want to do in your group. If you have an individual topic, feel free to do this. And then please do three things. First, uh, develop thesis from two perspectives. 
and we selected from the steep network which i introduced yesterday we selected technology and society to show that delphi theses have different perspectives and that they come from different edges and you should please develop in those groups three theses from each of these two perspectives for the topic you have chosen so for instance if i would have chosen education i would think okay let's have a technology perspective and a technology perspective could be that I assume that all lectures are given by computers, all lectures are at least supported by computers. That could be a thesis from the technology perspective. And in our case, we are using the first of Adriana's uh, um, uh, models, uh, which she showed us. That means we want to formulate hypotheses that are open in time so that our experts are able to give us an answer when this thesis will occur so we do not say in the year 2040 that and that will happen we say that that will happen and the experts are asked to answer when that will be happening so please three theses from technology, three theses from society. And then as I said, we have prepared a template and this template has a gray area. And this area you shouldn't work on. It's just to show what the experts will get afterwards with your thesis. So please just give in those theses here. And here is an example from uh, energy. Uh, for instance, uh, thesis hydrogen will replace oil as an energy carrier. And you can see the experts are asked in which time frame will that happen and how important is this for our institution. And to answer this, we have to look at this part of the uh, template where we have the uh, perspective. We are in that example, we are an energy producer. And in your examples, you can select from which perspective you want to look at the topics. Okay, that was my short introduction. And um, I have a look here. And now, if you have any questions regarding this exercise, feel free to ask them now. Uh, else, I will open the breakouts and uh, Lena Gronemeyer and I will visit you so perhaps we start this exercise mm -hmm. now and uh, we see in the breakout sessions. Professor, excuse me, uh, I just have a question about the time frame. We should mark or we should write something or nothing? Yes, the time frame you have for the first part, half an hour time to develop these thesis. And then we will come back to the plenary and then we will make a second part when you will evaluate the thesis of the other groups. Yeah, yeah I, I, I got this part. I'm just confused. Like, okay, we should write here uh, the thesis, but then in this, I don't know, gray part, uh, there is years and spaces. And in these spaces, we should like put an X or something or write that it's the, the second part. You see where is time? Yes, this part. Thank this you. part. You shouldn't um, no, no, no. The, shouldn't answer this part. It's only to show what the experts will see afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. Thank yeah? you. Yeah. So only work on the blank spaces, please. Okay. Now the work uh, breakout rooms are open and Please uh, feel free to call Lena Kronemeyer or me when you have any questions. And otherwise, we will visit you once or twice, but not too often, so that you can work uh, without disturbing. Uh, uh, and um, uh, I think that you have, I hope that you will have a good time in the breakouts.
I have Tadeo Junquera. Um, you have yes. just entered the room. I have not uh, um, assigned you to a breakout. I will assign you to a breakout room, okay? Okay. Can you co host Yes, I can. Just a moment. Our co host. Okay. Thomas Lindsay, I see, is just entering the room. Yes, I. I assign you to a breakout because we have now just started the breakout sessions. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I left just now the this room and I missed like the breakout rooms uh, split. It says okay, that the, the host needs to assign me. Okay, so I'll assign you to a breakout room in which only two people are at the moment and you can uh, go. Okay? Okay, thank you. Now we have each breakout room with three people at the place. Great. Hi, Professor. I, I began to record it again. I believe I lost one or two minutes when you begin. So if you want to stop yours, uh, we can, I can okay. put it here. I am technological surveillance. Let me see. Okay, the institutional part. Uh, we are part of the Ministry of the National Director of Studies. Uh, my boss is Vanessa. Vanessa is, is with us in this course. And we have three programs. Uh, the first program is Foresight, National Program Technological Foresight Pronaptec Program. Okay, in Spanish is Prospectiva. I didn't know how to traduce that because yesterday uh, the professor Martin Moore talked about futurology. <laughs> Other people uh, speak foresight. And so uh, we don't decide uh, the word in English, what is the, the specific term for us, but we said foresight. BINTEC is the national program of technological surveillance. And the, we have the national program on intelligent asset, intellectual property, and technological transfer. We try to, to introduce and to develop the, these disciplines in the, in the case or in the project that we develop. Not always is in this way, but we try to look at the information that are around the world and a specific, a specific topic and uh, the intellectual property assessment or aspects and the future on this, this, this in the thing, the, the aspect we start. This is our website in Spanish, Prospectiva Tecnológica. Work here. Okay, so let's talk about the first case. The purpose of this project was a study the reality, the future, and the strategies of technology change and innovation of the agri-food system within the framework of national development objectives. All the project we Realize we develop is to give information to make political decisions. So for us, it's important to have different visions, local, regional, national, and international visions to do uh, one uh, to have systematic visions, not just one group of people. This is all work. Give information. Give inform. Give organize give information inform, organize Provide institutional support to design and implementation of the public policy for the agri-food system and contribute to the construction of a model of organization and management of the agri-food system with a regional and territorial, territorial cover. The people who realized this group was INTA, the Pogauna is here, <laughs> it is the responsibility. The Ogana is part of the INTA. They have a lot of experience. Hey, Diego, please say hello because I'm going to talk hello. a lot about your work. <laughs> so, 
no, any but, question, no, any no. observation for él, for him too? I will because, not say anything, just keep going. <laughs> because the INTA is one of the principal organizations has a, a, a prospective and foresight trajectory. So um, in, this, in this area, in agro-food system, in quality, in all this part of the agri-food, we, 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 we trust in the, in the world in the National, uh, National University, Redes, and Banco Credit Cop, uh, Credit Cop Bank. It was the consortium, the group of the people realized this study um, for us. This study has had three activities. I'm gonna focus in the activity we interest is in technological and non-technological foresight. Because in, we know that in every sector, it's important to see technological aspect and non-technological aspect. So for that, uh, we, we, we do these divisions. It develops trends and generate forward-looking insight into the food and global food industry. The focus of this study was in the food and gross agroindustry in the processing stage not the first at the end or commercialization, the processing was the focus. And we select uh, five productive chains, chain value, corn, pork, cattle, olive, and fruit pines. And in this, in these topics and in these technologies, we identify uh, four cross current themes, integral quality, clean production, uh, technologies emerging and institutional organization. So, we are Ministry of Science Technology, but we know the importance that had the uh, non-technology aspect and the organization aspect, political aspects too. This is one uh, how the project was organized. Here, I want to show what was the role of the Delphi? The Delphi was part of the uh, foresight, foresight activities. And um, let me see. No, I'm gonna explain more. The methodology of the foresight. First, identify trends and foresight of food and food and growth industry in the world in Argentina. Diagnosis. Second part. Basic components by the chain for the identification for driving force, part of the diagnosis. A state of the art and application of cross cutting technologies in food processing uh, phase. And here was the Delphi survey role of work. Critical uncertainties of the Argentine food agro industry in the global context, critical food processing technologies and food processing technologies in production chain. So, after review the trends, the basic components, and the state of the art, the space where we don't know information or we don't, we don't have a consensus, we focus the Delphi survey. After that, the construction of a scenarios of the Argentine food agroindustry, construction of scenarios of the select product chain, the five I mean, and after that, capacities in research technology de development and innovation food. Sorry for the Spanish. Uh, it's a like a the, the conceptual conceptual approach, conceptual approach methodology. At the end of this study, I propose to have one agenda, like a one plan, uh, identify the the fees, technological aspect, institutional aspect, actions, and political political recommendations. Avísenle a Vanessa que está con el micrófono en en on. Okay. This is uh, one graphical graphical like a. Uh, uh, planning how the project was developed. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, and see, diagnosis, the first part, and uh, um, with the diagnosis, we identify 27, 4, 14, I don't know, forces impulsoras, like the driving drivers, or in certain variables. 
in six dimensions, and in this, in, in critical uncertainty, we apply and we develop the Delphi exercise with all this part, this central part. Delphi is seven blocks, B1, B2. So you can see there are almost 12, 31, 18, 21, a lot of questions. All was, was, oh my God. <laughs> One question we learned, not put a lot of questions. <laughs> because always it's hard to uh, explain or develop or to cross. And after that, the scenarios, the scenarios we beat, always with the expert commission and after that the roadmap in investigation and development El focus focus of the study was uh, the five chain productive so we exploring the future of argentina food and industry in the global context then validate the critical food processing technologies so we make questions about the integral quality, cleaner production, and emerging technologies in each chain product. And validate uh, the processing technologies and not technology factors in these chain products. So we had 140 questions um, by blocks. One thing the, uh, the, the group do, do the study was divided so the expert decide what block answer and if he had the knowledge or the expertise to answer each block so you can do that too when is the study so complex so people there are people that answer the first block and other people answer two block or and the black one and black two and people expert in each chain productive respond 20, 20, oh, see, yeah, these answers. Uh, we use the Millennium Project Platform. Uh, the, the, the time we use seven weeks, two months, because we know that it was a lot of questions. And we pretend uh, that like 1,000 people answered around the world this survey. So it was a big project. A big effort in Spanish and in English. Time Horizon 2030. We invited, or the project invited, 3,085 people, and the 3,708 uh, registered. So they they say they decided to participate, but at the end, 420 people answer one question, at least one question. 19,000 quantitative answers and 1,149 quality answers. So it was a big effort um, because we think one thing and it's like a huge, 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 huge. And how we know that every answer was a specific and the, the, the expert of the project want to put the focus in, in a lot of points. It was a good point, but it Work in it deserves a lot of works. This this is the pan, uh, slides of the of the uh, of the Millennium Project software. Where the first part, the, the you can see how the answers are organized. After that, uh, how the questionnaire are organized. So first the statement. After that, the importance is relevant or is not relevant for, for the expert. The capacities about this, the limitation and the impacts. So this delphi was complex and for that we used two months. But it was a good, good exercise after the evaluation. And, but it's, it, we had to do good way that it will be. Uh, the evolution of the participation was this, uh, 700 experts, 30, 30 countries answered. Yes, 
700 experts for 37 countries were registered it, but 40, 20 experts answered at least one question of these 145 answers. Result by blocks. By blocks. You see what seven blocks, eight blocks? By blocks. We identify the experts, I mean characters, origin, country, level of education, level of knowledge in this experience. The variables information about, about the degree of the importance of the statement, the degree of the importance of the statement in the small, small enterprise main capabilities, main limitation, main impacts, uh, the classification of the main statements, classification of the main statements according to their impacts. So the cross of the answer with we, we, we ask. And every block had uh, here their preliminary conclusions. So by block. This information uh, Words for the scenario after that to prepare the scenarios. The scenario was the last result of the foresight, foresight activity. And the scenarios give information for, uh, give information or ideas to create the roadmap or the agenda, the research and development technology. It was the first project. This project lasted two years. This is, was the second work in project development, quality and safety requirements. It was a small project for, I think, one year it last. The purpose of the project was develop and explore a study with a view to 2025 to analyze the obstacles, challenge, and trends, and the global level of the requirement in terms of quality and safety for the participation in the work drive of the raw materials and food products, as well as technology necessary to meet these requirements. So the purpose of this project it was to identify the principles, um, the principal obstacles, challenge, and trends for the quality and safety requirements for the small enterprise in Argentina. After this exercise, we do another exercise, the quality from Argentina. So this is the global overview. And with this information, uh, after that, we ask to the enterprise if the enterprise are prepared to this global context. I bring this, the global in the world. The components of this study was current study and worldwide trends of quality and food safety requirements. And after that, current status and global trends in the food preservation technologies. I forget, uh, this study was from INTA2 and COPAL. COPAL is the camera, the association of the enterprise from the alimentos. So the part of the research, the research part was representative and the enterprise, rep uh, enterprise representative by this camera. Uh, current status and the global trends, emphasis on technology that minimize the effect of the processing, update of the change in health paradigms in control and prevention and trends in technology too, current status and worldwide trends, and analysis of regional and international trade policies and instruments. If you see, everything is global context. Trends, technology, change, uh, trade policies and instruments. First, we do the diagnosis. Always we start with the diagnosis. After that, analysis of the current world in terms of the tools of differentiation and valorization, food and quality policies. Analysis of global trends in quality and food safety requirements. Analysis of global trends in food preservation technologies. Preparation of the reference gates. After all the information, we do the Delphic type survey. So what I, what I mean, first, to study, to read, to looking for the information, the bibliography, uh, the expert inside, and after that, do uh, the survey with experts. And the final workshop for the analysis and validation of the survey's results. The focus of this study was a consult 
through the opinion and international expert, the future of the evolution of fuel quality and safety requirement in the world by 2025. Uh, tools. Taking into account the objectives and the limitation present related to the time and cost variable, a Delphi type was survey was conducted. The survey was conducted using the Google Drive platform. The last was Millennium Project platform. This is Google Drive. So it was easy, was uh, designed here uh, because there were, there were less people. We all thought it's got many advantage, but this platform mm, is not good to the second round or to have the feedback of the answer. It's just one survey. This is one limitation. Another important limitation is that it doesn't not allow participate to observe the survey response online and in real time in order to review and modify the answers. The design, uh, the design and the preparation first stage include the bibliographic review and the limitation of the object of the studies. And the second stage here, they prepare four blocks of the question. Inocuity, quality, symbolic quality, and uh, technologies, new technologies in this process state. Uh, when people ask you about, about um, examples, how to, how we prepare the hypothesis or the thesis or the statements. In the first block, personal data, country level of dedication. Inocuities, examples of statements. Controlling the presence of virus in food will constitute a new barrier to international trade. This is one statement. So the expert said, and agree or not agree. Consumers will change their negative perception of the health risks of the application of nanotechnology in production. In the block of the quality, the requirement to complain with a health claim will be an obstacle to development on functional foods. Consumer will preferably demand food that naturally contain functional components over those that have been artificial added. Symbolic quality. The implementation of the organic product label will increase food access to the market. Differential food through collective marks will increase their access to the markets. And in the last block, emerging processing technology, the application of high is restrictive pressure. This is a technology that is so specific. Will extend from the experimental to the commercial level for the production of the healthy foods. Or the use of nanotechnological tools will increase for the design of active and intelligent packaging. So if you see in this case, in this project, the statement was right like a hypothesis in future. So the expert said, agree or not agree, and why? I think I why, I don't remember. Ah, yeah, why. So the expert will evaluate the knowledge. The expert said it, the, it was according to the statement. What, what are the factors that possibility this statement the limitations and the impacts, like a same structure like a, the, uh, the first project, the are Participants. In the first block, 30 people, quality, eight people, symbolic quality, six people, technology, new technologies, nine people, and in the total, 23 people in Google survey. So it was focus, uh, yeah, like You have mute, you are mute. Why you use different people for different questions? Um, because they, they acknowledge. Uh, okay. In this, in, in, the, in, the, in this case, in the, um, Diego, if you want to say something, <laughs> in, the, uh, in the Delphi survey, privilege, prefer to have 
high experience, high knowledge, and not a big account. I don't know, Diego, if you want to explain something about that. <clears throat> Sorry, Adriana. There is a construction going on there. So. Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I will wait, then, then I can talk. Okay. No, because every, every organization has like a one philosophy to do this kind of exercise. Uh, we know how the INTA works. In this case, they, they, uh, they prefer few people, expertise, a lot of expertise, and uh, to access. And how this study was in four months, five months, because it was the, the time we give them to do it, they prefer in this way. Because we learned to the project, the last project, it was a lot of time, it was a lot of money, it was so wide, then the experience was so good, excellent, but for this time, we didn't have all the resources we had before. So, um, and we need this information, and the camera needs this information. It's, it's, it was like a Delphi Express, or Delphi, or Foresight Activity Express in six months or seven months, and they want to do one Delphi, so they, they do in this, in this, with this methodology. But every organization decided decided how to contact the expert or how to manage the exercise. And this is the results, same level of knowledge for the characterization of the expert consult, a degree of agreement or not with the quality, with the statement, factors would make it possible to do these statements, a would limit, impact, and quantitative analysis of the variable. And the last project I present you is the future of nanoscience and nanotechnology in Argentina. There are less people because nanotechnology is not a wide technology area in our countries. So here was like a Delphi, but adapted at one day. What we do? Okay, well, let's set up. Purpose of the project. Obtain information about local and international trends and movement related with the areas of nanotechnology in which Argentina presents or could present competitive potentialities. One, one university from Argentina and two organizations from Spain, Catalonia and Institute de Reserve. This is Catalonia too. What we do, what was our work plan? Brief diagnosis of the current situation of the nanoscience and nanotechnology in Argentina. One synthesis of prospective document, it was new for us. They decided to look in for all the foresight document reports and, uh, and they bring the new. It was like a step of the art. After that, international benchmarking exercise in technologies. Uh, they complain, they, we had always one adversary commission on experts. Then identify what was the support software. It was a, a specific activity of the project. Then uh, to fill the topics of the reference guide, to have the expert panels, the Delphi query results, cross impact analysis, is another methodology, graph of influence, and after that, possible scenarios. But the Delphi query result was presential. So in one week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we choose every uh, nano area. So Monday, experts for nano, I don't remember, nano in energy, for example. Tuesday, Nano in TICS, in technology information. Wednesday, nano in food. In the morning, we, um, by support platform, we ask at the noon, uh, have the results, and the afternoon, we share the results and the expert in the table, presencially, talk about that. 
So in one week, in every day, we analyze with the expert by presencially the uh, each area in nanotechnology. But the way that we consult in a table was like a Delphi statement. I bring this example because it's not a Delphi like how we study at the morning, but the logic is the same. To prepare a statement, to bring to the expert, uh, and we do by presencially way. To have the feedback in the same, in the same moment. Uh, we have represents to the academic and science technology and the business and the government. Uh, yeah, una pregunta, one question. Um, what was a basic for consultation? Uh, we consultation will be conducted, well, it was redacted in future because it's part of the proposal, but we did that. Consulting will be conducted based on panel individual interviews and other foresight techniques. And we propose the ministry conclusion for the future and research and technologies in this area. We say. This was the methodology of the old foresight. We asked like a ministry always the work plan and what methodology they are gonna use. And the LP is one of the methodology. It's not always, it's not um, just the one. Uh, it's like a survey because we ask always to have the opinion, the expert. For us, it's so important to have like a, the, val the validation of the information, not just the consortium, what they said. For that, the people ask or oh, said the LP technique. Uh, I think it was in Google Platform 2. This is the, uh, the important, the, the first image. And um, what we ask, personal data, relevant segments, indicate the degree of the family with each segment, the scope of the application of two areas, situation in the value chain, advantage, importance, this, the, the, the statement for Argentina, develop potential in Argentina, main obstacles, potential for use in Argentina, main obstacle, and estimation of the world of the market of these nano areas. We had four areas, I remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> Monday was health nanomedicine area. We had the participation of 18 experts. Electrochemical area, 12 experts. Energy area, 15 experts. Agri-food area, 13 experts. It was the statement, sorry in Spanish, nanosensor for diagnosis of illness, nanoencapsulations, uh, toxicologic factors, uh, nanomaterial productions. So in every area of nano was segments like uh, in the INTA projects by block, here by areas. It was the, the areas technology that we asked. And the results by, by, by block and by questions. In this case, they show the results by bars or by statistical results, results in every journey, in every day, and the world market here. And with this information, they propose the scenarios for Argentina. And you can see here the different scenarios and with the spectrums. So, five minutes. <laughs> this is the link of interest if you want to download the reports. The first, here are the three, because like a, was a huge project, there are a lot of documents, like a 20 products, 20 documents of the project. Here there are the synthesis and the foresight exercise, and I think the, 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 the conclusions. Here you can download the quality in the world, and there are one specific for Angelina, and the future of nanoscience here you can down, download, and you can see every detail not just the Delphi, just all the, all the project. And these documents is the document that we 
pass to all authorities and we um, divulgate, socialize, and other things. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks from our side for that uh, impressions from, from the real studies from the ministry. And I think it was really good seeing how different these studies have been with different uh, project management uh, approaches with uh, different experts. Thank you very much for that survey. And perhaps we can now start into our final discussion of uh, the Delphi method. And uh, perhaps we can return to the questions from uh, this morning. So let me go back in the uh, uh, chat. And there was, I think, quite an interesting question from Carlos. Uh, I don't see the whole name in my, from, from Carlos Latrix. If you face a complex problem with multidisciplinary approach, is it possible to, to decide, separate the problema, and then prepare two or more Delphi exercises? What is your opinion, Adriana? You are still unmuted. This is the question of the chat I am looking for. Uh, oh. Yes, but perhaps Carlos is still here. Uh, perhaps he can just ask the question in, in life. So it's a little bit more explanation behind that. Mm -hmm. So I see he's unmuted. Yeah, so I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Irina, it's, it's just a, a thought about the, the type of problems we are facing right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that uh, normally are really complex problem with uh, with the different approaches and we have to think transdisciplinary or multidisciplinary so when you have a, a complex problem maybe uh, i guess uh, it is possible to separate the problem or to split the problem in two or three mm -hmm. different problems and then you can do a delta exercise for each of them um, mm -hmm. I don't know. At, at the end, maybe you can put together all the all the three or four exercises and then do uh, uh, a mega a mega delta. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not sure if you if you have uh, uh, yeah, some for experience that, about that or not. No, yeah. For that, we 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 present always this uh, the first project because it was a huge project and complex. We said the future of the field 23rd in Argentina. <laughs> and we ask when, when, when you start, okay, production, procession, transformation, commercialization, logistic, and it's not the same, not the same corn, or it's not the same the beef. So it was a so complex for that it delayed two years because uh, there are a lot of knowledge to Diagnosis is so important. At the end, the Delphi is one tool or methodology to bring information that you don't found in anywhere. So you have to be, for that, I repeat, you have to be a smart what you're gonna ask. Uh, because it's, it, it, it's the time and the knowledge of the expert is a value resource. And in this case, it was one exercise, one Delphi. So one platform, one in four, one, one, one. But the exercise was divided by block. And every, every block has their own expert and their own answer and their own conclusions. At the end of the exercise, again, to make sure, uh, to make sure the conclusions. So for that, but I think the complex topic is not just the Delphi, it's how do you think is going to be the study of the project at the, at the, at first, what is the question or what is the focus of this project? I mean, you see with the question that is so complex, you have to synthesize or to say what is my principal focus of why I decided to do that. 
Yes. Okay. Yes, the complex you have to try to reduce, not not negate it, not the say no, no, it's not complex. That we are going to so no because the reality is complex. But you have to be smart <laughs> to do what is the question really I, I, I want to answer with the project or with the study. But it is yeah. it is applied for all foresight exercise. I don't know, Professor Moore, it's true. <laughs> what is the future of the <laughs> like a, like I want one future or one variable? Well, I can report from the Japanese or from the uh, early German Delphi exercise, which was also done for the whole area of sciences, and it was split up into 12 uh, sub uh, um, aspects, 12 uh, disciplines. Some of them were connected to natural sciences, such as physics or chemistry. Some of them were connected to application areas such as housing and living and some of them were uh, overarching aspects such as huge projects joint projects uh, with other countries so they split it up in that way to to reduce the complexity of it all so i think that's uh, one of the opportunities we have um, may I add a question? What is your experience regarding the opportunism of experts? Because what we face sometimes is that experts do not say what they really think, but they say what they think they should say. Mm. How do you deal with that? You ask me, Mir, Professor? Yes, or? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is my reflection about that? No, uh, okay. To do foresight or futurally projects is hard more than an imagine. <laughs> Why? Because the future is, doesn't exist. So what do you have? Do you have experience? Do you have contacts? And do you have resources? And do you have needs? Uh, necessities I and mean, demands demands on information mm -hmm. so you have to come to, to 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 use or to join the demand of the information for example for us what the ministry or what the people wants to know like uh, to justify or work because we can do exercise or we can do projects and after that nobody pay attention and he said that. Or the people need information about possibility of future and you don't think about it was important and when the people need, you don't have the experience in this area. So we have to have the two views, the experts that we had and the contact we had and one we think is important and what the people or the political or the scientific area think is important. If you have the two views and the resource, there was a good experience. But everything you learn, always you learn, always, always, and it's important to do that. I know, I'm not going to say that it's not important, it's important. But I don't know in academic area, but here in political area, <laughs> you have to do a smart resource, a smart information um, to think that the information is is util. Is is mm. <laughs> they said, hey, thank you, thank you. We need that. Thank you for your work. Or it was just a document in the website and nobody looked inside. I don't know. I mean. Okay, <laughs> thanks. It was just a question because sometimes people want to push projects and they mm -hmm. think we have to um, give positive prognosis to get that project. And uh, so I don't know if there are any ways to triangulate around that or to, to uh, measure this uh, type of opportunism. I really don't know. 
Okay, but I don't want to to uh, ask uh, more questions. I would like to give uh, the floor to other people who have still remarks or questions uh, to the Delphi technique or anything else important. Yes, Santiago Chao. Thank you, Professor. Yes, I have um, a question regarding. Uh, okay, first. How do you choose the experts? I mean, do you do you know them or do you? Yeah, I mean, how do you make like a database of experts? And then, how do you manage to get them to participate in the in the study in the in the Delphi mm -hmm. technique? Is it common to offer them some kind of incentive? economic incentive, well, um, maybe economic incentive or some other sort of uh, incentive to make them to participate? Mm -hmm. yeah. Perhaps Adriana can answer from the political yeah. perspective and I from the, the perspective of companies. Okay, uh, here in, in our case, we have contact with the research of the, of the CONICET is or research organization, so it's like uh, it's easy to, to contact. We have database, we have contact, we have friends, uh, we have cam uh, cameras, so national research institutes, and so we contact with them. We can use the expert at first in the develop to at the end. If you don't have money, you have to be smart when I need it. I need a at, at, at first, to think why I'm gonna do that. Or in the middle of the study like this, to do a DLP question, answer, feedback. Or I can use the knowledge at the end to, to, to know if your results are okay or not okay. If you have money, it's better because you can uh, contract to them, for example, to write, because the, the, the hard part of this study is to write. For the conclusion, will be okay for, in, in our case, we contract one group, the experts, to do the exercise. But if you have money to contract expert additional than to write, is better. If you don't have money just to have the answer, but at first you have to be sure that the people you contract have the knowledge, the enough knowledge to do a good product with experts or without experts. It's like a part of the part of the exercise of work. The quality has to be guaranteed with the people you contract in our case. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That's from the political perspective. If you're doing a Delphi study from the perspective of a company, you may often uh, tell your experts that you are working for a company. Normally, you do not have to say for which company. But if you say, I'm working for a large automotive manufacturer, the experts normally have an interest to answer. Because um, if you look at specific technologies, I, I mentioned uh, virtual auditive technologies, uh, the experts want to get attention on their technologies. So they like answering questions. They like helping other companies in predicting, hoping that these other companies will buy products by them. And that's a different motivation. Mm -hmm. And that's why I uh, said, perhaps we have two answers here, one from the political side and one from the side of the companies. Yeah, thank you very much. And I'm looking at the time and we still have five minutes, but we do not need to use all the time. Perhaps it's good then if we have five minutes break until our next meetings. But if you still have questions, please feel free. As I said, now we are here, now we are happy to answer them. And I don't see any more questions. So I'd like to- I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. Why is the presentation? <laughs>
I'd like to thank you. If I may, I have a, a very small final question from the yes. side, if I may. Yeah, it's very simple. It's, uh, so, so when you have the contacts, uh, when you have the, the database of the experts, so then how do you contact them? Like, do you usually call them before or just send them, send them all an email with the questionnaire or is there like a previous step in this relationship with the experts? How do you usually do that? Depend of the ability of the people doing the exercise. Um, for example, you can take the phone and say, hey, please, me look that we are doing this, this study. The survey will be 30 minutes, one hour. Okay, can I send you one link to answer? Okay, but it is, there are few people, for example, the nanotechnology, 12, 13, 15, no? But if you are gonna do 1,000 or 800 or 100 people just to send the mail and, and, and to see, and to see each day if the people answer or not, if not answer, you can see another email to remind um, for that. All, sometimes the average to the answer is 20%, 30%, 45%. Uh, depend on the ability to the to the to the studies are doing. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at Santiago if he's convinced. Seems to be. So Thank you, uh, all of us, for your uh, participation, for your active work in our workshop. Thank you very, very much, Adriana, for this impressive uh, uh, introduction into the Delphi method and for sharing your experiences. And uh, as I said, it's so interesting to see how different it can be in, in uh, what different settings it can uh, be uh, used. And I think in the end, it's also a, a good piece of project management which you should apply if you do the Delphi method. It's not only that you take the method out of the box and then you apply it, but you have to uh, uh, arrange the expert rounds, you have to arrange the feedback rounds and so on. So it's, uh, I think it's really a reliable method for many purposes, uh, but you have to do it carefully. And uh, But I think we learned a lot about the thesis uh, which we can use. Thank you, everybody. Um, and I think today it's my job to uh, finish the session, to conclude. Um, and we will see uh, tomorrow with Ralf Isenmann. Now he's not here. He has to watch soccer. I'm sure he's uh, having the, the colors in his face already and uh, uh, crying <laughs> for uh, the right soccer team. Uh, we will see tomorrow to technology road mapping. I was very happy to see you today and have a good time until tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.